Yeah, remembering the patterns in ECGs is actually a difficult yet simple process. It's difficult because you need to take the time to memorize some of these patterns. And unfortunately, memorization is the only way to go. Um, there's also, you can also, if you understand pathophysiology and apply that to the, the ECG, you can infer why certain patterns occur. For example, in hypertrophy of the myocardium, this causes a delay in impulse and an increase in amplitude of the impulse. So in left ventricular hypertrophy, for example, you're going to see real tall R waves or real deep S waves. Um, the key thing to doing this is to look at the patterns, try to understand it, memorize them, and then use repetition to get pattern recognition so that you can do them quicker.